Hi drummers, hope you're well. Quick talk through for you here of the main groove from Rosanna by Toto. This is one of the all-time drum classics. The master, Jeff Beccaro on drums. Now this is a half-time shuffle. Hopefully if you're watching this video you know what that is, but if not, no big deal. Uh, I'll link to my video about half-time shuffle below. It also uses elements of something called the In The Gaps half-time shuffle. I've got another video about that. I'll also link to that in the description. Here's the very, very basic feel though. A half-time shuffle is when you're playing on the hi-hat in this case, a shuffle pattern. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. The big snare drum backbeat in this half time feel will be on the three. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So that's the big idea. Now it really does depend where you're at with your drumming. If you've got this going, That's all good, that's grooving along on the hi-hat, brilliant. If not, the first step with this would just take a bit of time doing that. I would say stick on a tune like Steely Dan, Babylon Sisters, and just at that slightly slower speed, nail down that half-time shuffle feel. Another great one is Grapevine Fires by Death Cab for Cutie, love that. You can put a kick on the one and the three. On oh, the one and the three, the one, I guess. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So again, we're shuffling that hi hat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And four. That's the basic halftime shuffle. Now, this, the defining feature I would say of this Rosanna shuffle is the kick drum part. It goes like this. Straight away, we're starting to get a feel of that. Now, apparently, there's loads of great videos, not least the one where Jeff Beccaro describes it himself, where he talks about it was inspired here by the Bo Diddley uh, beat, which is ba 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 ba. It's basically a three-two clave, so called, from Latin music, and that's a phrase that goes through so much great music. Ba 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 ba. From you know, just things that spring to mind, like um, "Not Fade Away," Rolling Stones, uh, Buddy Holly tune or like Faith, George Michael, or there's so many songs have that but, 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 and Bo Diddley, of course, loads of his songs have that feel as well, but, 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 and that's what he was inspired by. It's shifted around a little bit, but it gives you Uh, probably notice the kick there just before the last snare in the phrase is a little bit later. But that's the basic idea. Now, what we'd like to do to build it up uh, in these sessions here at my studio is just play the hand part and actually we'll add in the kicks one at a time. I'm going to take you through that now. So if we play just the kick at the beginning of this two bar phrase, it will sound like this. One, two, three. goes just before the first snare drum. This is on the and of beat two. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. I should say here at each stage you can just play and play on playing it because a lot of the guys you know you want to look at this it is a challenge, honestly, it would have been for me, it still is for me, it would have been for me a lot when I was first getting into this sort of thing. And uh, just make friends with each level before you move on to the next level, just sort of make friends with it a little bit. So again, those couple of tunes that I recommended, uh, Steely Dan, Babylon Sisters, great Bernard Purdy on drums, and uh, Grapevine Fires, Death Cab for Beauty, just groove this along a little bit. So first two kicks. When you're ready, add in the kick on beat four in the first bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next one is on the and of beat one, the swung and of beat one, the second bar.
The last kick is on the very last uh, and of beat four in the second bar. So all the kicks now. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the start. I'm going to play the first kick. I'm going to roll each one around about four times or so, maybe more. And then I'm going to add in each kick as we go, and I'll shout out each time adding a new kick. So here we go. Just the first kick. Remember, it's a two-bar phrase. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, here comes the next kick. Man. So that might all take quite a bit of time. It's totally cool. Take your time with it. And this is in the grade eight book, like I say. So you wouldn't expect this to just happen straight away. If, you didn't, if you've been playing the drums for a few months or even a few years, you wouldn't necessarily expect this to fall into place um, quickly. You know, this will take a bit of time. That's cool. Now, ghosted notes. This is the, this is the kind of thing that takes it up to the next level. Once you've got this down, That's cool, because you're capturing there the really broad feel of it. What really, really gives it that finishing touch is the ghosted notes. Ghosted notes, of course, quiet little notes, right up next to the snare drum, as quiet as you can play, I would say, and still playing cleanly. These feature in, in the gaps, so or in between some of the hi-hats. Now, in the grade eight Trinity Rock and Pop version, they're playing, they've got you playing what we call a Purdy, as in Bernard Purdy, shuffle, right from the start. That means every little gap in the shuffle, and refer to my In The Gap Shuffle video I'll link to below if you need to, uh, every single one is filled in. So right from the start, they've got you playing. Which is cool, and the, the full Jeff Picaro Toto version, original version, does do once it's kind of up and running a little bit. But the intro to the original only has one ghosted note in the first few repeats of that, of that two bar phrase. And that is right at the end of the two bar phrase. And if you're counting one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, it's on the trip of beat four, right? So in between the very last two hi-hats in the bar. I'm gonna play just the hand part now, right from the intro, and this, isn't going to have the kick drum in it, but it is going to have that ghosted note in it. Here we go. And three and four. And one, two, three, four. 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 One, two. You hearing that? Four triplet. One of those, man.
bit of sense. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go uh, every time again with adding the kicks. I'm go now going to play the full hand part with the little ghosted note. So, first kick. Ghosted note. on the uh, end of the second bar. And the last one on the very last eighth note of the bar, right at the end, leading you back into beat one with another kick. Is the intro, the little fill at the start goes to three notes, uh, usually written as two snares and then a tom tom of some sort. I've always liked to play this as right, right, left, personally. So one, two, three, four. All right, a bit quicker. want to do exactly what Jeff Picaro does, it's there, and then another crash, when the rest of the band come in. One time from the top. thing like I said in the Trinity Rock and Pop Grade 8 version and in the original once the kind of verse has got going a little bit he adds in a ghosted note in the gaps between every single one of those in the gap shuffle so please check out my video about the in the gap shuffle that's the basic hand part add it with the kick Sense. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the intro as uh, as on the original. I'm going to play for a little bit and then I'll morph into the in the gaps all the way shuffle. Uh, here we go. One, two, one, two, deal it is an awesome all-time classic that is Jeff Beccaro's amazing groove from uh, Rosanna hopefully that gives you some idea uh, about it have a load of fun with it let me know how you get on uh, any questions give us a shout see you soon thanks a lot